hey guys welcome back and yes i know i have been mia but i've been trying to get some new things together i got a new lighting system these are two umbrella lights and i am very excited to try them out it looks really great in the viewfinder so i have to see how it's gonna look when i actually um put it onto the computer to edit but today i'm gonna be doing a collective haul i have some stuff from mac from elf um some stuff on amazon as well so i'm just gonna jump right into it first three things i got was from imart here in barbados and i got the elf makeup lock and seal and this is supposed to be used to bring more life into your eyeshadows you can use it for glitter and i usually use a uh, eyebrow sorry not eyebrow eyelash glue for my glitter but i don't really like removing it but i heard that this stuff is really good so i'm gonna give it a try if you guys want me to do a review on this i can do a review this was 11.95 i'm just gonna put the prices of the stuff somewhere here at the bottom and then I got two eyebrow and lip pencils. Well, one is a lip pencil and one is an eyebrow pencil. Um, I got one in purple violet. This is from Wet n Wild. And I'll probably do swatches of these or something like that. Or I'll probably just do a review on these. Um, I wanted something that would look similar to Max Night Moth because it's discontinued and I can't get it down here unless I buy it online. But 15 or 16 US for a lip pencil mm, yeah I don't know how I feel about that but these are the two that I got and they're quite nice the next few things that I got are from Amazon and yeah I got two foundations from CoverGirl I got the CoverGirl uh, Outlast the Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and it came cracked look at that look at that crack the only reason I haven't sent it back is because I live in Barbados and to get it back to America to then get it back to me is just a whole set of money. As long as it's not fractured on the inside, I am okay. This one is the darkest one. I think this is soft stable in the regular line. And this one is from the Queen Collection and this one is Q855. And this guy is a tad lighter than this one. I saw somewhere online that this is kind of comparable to nw47 and usually when i go in the sun and i get a little bit darker this one would fit me perfectly so i am thinking that this one will be better for me in summer when i'm outside more and this one would be better um during the year usually when i'm not outside so much i got two real techniques brushes i got the i think this is the powder brush and excuse me i used it to apply my uh powder foundation and i also got the blush brush I'm gonna put the prices somewhere in here so that you guys can know. Um, these two brushes are really nice. I do have a few brushes from the Real Techniques line. They are amazing and they are very affordable. That is why I really do love these brushes. So yeah, you guys can give this a try. Next thing I got is not quite makeup related, but it is related to what I do. I got a 32 gigabyte um, SD card. I have a 32 already with the camera that I'm using right now, but I find sometimes that I'm editing videos and I have that in the computer and then I want to film, but then, you know, I don't have another one so I just thought this was really important um, I don't remember the price of this one but it was very affordable at least to me because compared to the prices that you have to pay here in Barbados this was it this was worth the investment and the last thing I got was reckless journal because I saw graveyard girl on YouTube and um, yeah I didn't really watch her videos when she actually did like rocket Wednesdays but I thought it was very interesting and I started to do some of the things in here and yeah I can't really tell what I've been doing but I've been enjoying this book I haven't done a lot of it but I have been enjoying this book so those were the things that I got from Amazon and the last couple things I got were from Mac I got four things from Mac uh, my best friend is here from America and she obviously could get me duty free that is probably the only reason why I will go to Mac and buy a few things from them here because unless I can get it duty free I am not gonna bother my head with it I will just buy it online and send it to whoever is over there so the first thing I got was the studio fix powder foundation and this is what I have on my face right now this is in NW45 and it looks like this it looks a little bit lighter in the pan but when you dust it on with a nice fluffy brush it just gives you flawless coverage like i didn't build it up very um you know thickly i just wanted to set the concealer that i have on my dark spots which you know are on my cheeks usually and just a little bit a little bit on my jawline um, and this powder is really nice um this is the first thing that i'm using it i tried it 
in the store. And I can't remember which brush they used for me or which brush they did it gave me to try on. But it was really nice. And you know it comes with a little um, puff that I'm probably not going to use. So yeah, that was that. The next thing I got was the paint pot in Painterly. And I actually have not used this yet. But it is like the NYX eyeshadow base in I think skin tone but this one is slightly more pink I was going to get the one that looks I think it's soft ochre but the lady there said that this one will probably be better for my skin tone because I have slightly red undertones on the outside even though I'm a little bit more yellow and um yeah I can't resist smelling it but it doesn't really smell like much it has a nice little packaging I think it's a little bulky but it has a lot of product in here and a little bit of this goes a long way so that was that and the next thing I got was spiked brow pencil and I actually use it today but because I have bangs this whole eyebrow situation is non-existent and um, yeah my best friend actually got two of these I'm not sure why she would leave America to come down here to buy it it's a little bit more expensive but all at her well, she happy she bought two of these and I saw the girl had done her eyebrows and they were so amazing I mean I could have gone stud but I know stud is a little bit darker and I prefer my eyebrows to be a little bit more light and um, this is probably like the second time I'm trying it I just have to work around it and see I'm trying to use it with a really light hand to make sure that I don't end up with like really harsh brows because I do prefer my brows to be a little, a little bit lighter ah. So much to say and I haven't filmed in so long um yes so this is spiked eyebrow crayon and it is very nice actually I am between two minds because this thing is expensive this one's 38 dollars for eyebrow pencil and I usually a custom paying five dollars for eyebrow pencil so you can understand that this is a special occasion kind of thing it's not everyday bro for me honey no anywho moving on the last thing I got from Matt was a lip pencil I know I don't even want to say how much money this costs because yeah. I'll put it on here anyway. This one is in current and this one is very comparable to Night Moth. And like I said before, Night Moth is discontinued here in Barbados, so I'm not gonna get it. Um, this one they said is very similar. It is so freaking pretty. It is a dark wing kind of color. Um, that would be amazing even if I took it and lined the outside of my lips right now to do a fade this is amazing the color is dark and it's rich um, yeah I cannot wait to try this out um, for ombre lip or just to darken up the outside of my lips amazing 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 let me know if you want to do a review on any of these things which I probably will post a review anyway um, because some of these things I have seen on YouTube and I'm really interested in getting my opinion out there because they may not be all that they're hyped up to be because you know a lot of YouTube things are like that anyhow um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time